rainfall and heavy rainfall and perhaps a low developing uh, down through the middle keys right underneath the banner here. I notice all the thunderstorms on the south side of it. This is interesting too. Tropical systems as they try to get going um, and, and, and uh, start to intensify, usually there's a lot of lightning at or near the center of them and that's exactly what we're seeing with that there. Uh, you can see that little spin going on and be around Marathon, Middle Keys and uh, that is expected to track right along the coastline and by tomorrow morning around 8 to 9 in the morning should be just around the southern Palm Beach County Broward line that little low and then track up the coastline during the day. We're gonna have to watch it closely because it could help set off some more big rains tomorrow. Here are rainfall totals so far. We're looking at about a half an inch to almost three inches of rain in our area. Six inch bullseye to the south down around Lauderdale. And the rainfall continues to move from Miami and Lauderdale into our area tonight. Let me go back a frame because there's Palm Beach County. We had some big downpours. We still have some around Jupiter and Jupiter Farms. Also to the south, there's a flood advisory in effect just to the south in Broward County, starting around uh, Hillsborough Beach and on the Treasure Coast. Now uh, that little rain squall moving in along Hope Sound. That's where we see the more intense rainfalls and a quick inch to two inches of rainfall possible in some of these uh, squalls as they work through. Our, uh, rain squalls right now, 25 to 30 miles an hour. Flood watch in effect for the entire area along the coastline uh, into tomorrow, let's say around the noon hour, three to six inches of rain, but locally higher amounts of seven to eight and a high surf advisory along area beaches. Be careful out there. Although uh, it really won't be a beach day tomorrow. We're looking at uh, limited sunshine and very gusty winds. So rain intensifying during the evening, especially 9 o'clock through midnight, maybe 1 in the morning, as these heavier bands work into our area. And that little low that I showed you that's trying to develop down in the Middle Keys starts to work north. A big winds coming in from the north. So there's 1 in the morning, still some heavy downpours here. There's uh, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, starting, there'll still be some rainfall around for the morning commute. There's that low at that point off Lauderdale. There's the noon hour. The low is still in that area and tracking off the coastline, but it's dragging in some more storms, Treasure Coast, tomorrow afternoon and evening. So we won't be quite done with it even into later in the day. It has about a 10% chance of developing. So gale warning for boaters, mariners tomorrow sees upwards of 13 feet. 70s, flood watch in effect. Several inches of rain possible. Watch out. We're going to get some flood advisories likely, and we could see some flooded streets this evening. 79 tomorrow, limited sun, more showers and storms. It starts to improve in a big way for the upcoming weekend.